uh, dear friends, uh, urologists, uh, we are planning uh, to do RIRS in large volume stone. Uh, ideally, a large volume, uh, which condition RIRS is not feasible or feasible, there are no definitive guidelines. But because of the fan suction sheath, uh, surgery can be done faster. So if you see here, the CT, uh, there is uh, one stone here in the pelvis, then slowly the stones are coming to the inferior calyx, there is one cyst here. And overall, this is large volume stone. And uh, Ramakrishna, can you keep uh, the reconstruction thing so that you can understand how, how large it is. See, this is the, uh, uh, appears to be a, a two, three stones. Uh, this is a very, uh, definitely it will be up around 2000 uh, cubic mm uh, large volume. The, uh, the basic idea is that it is stented. They came from the other state uh, only for RIRS. I told already that it is PCNL is easy, non PCNL, uh, this thing is easy, uh, but uh, they want only RIRS, it is their choice. Sometimes patient also may not uh, go for the scientific choice, but feasibility uh, we have to see. Because it is uh, feasible, uh, I, I thought I will attempt uh, 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 the RIRS. So here equipment should be minimum, uh, two urotroscopes I keep. One access sheet, this is the access sheet everybody wants to know. The uh, difference between the normal access sheet and fans access sheet is, is 50 centimeters. Because from the tip of the male urethra meatus up to the inferior calyx, it may be around 50 55 centimeters. Tall persons, it will be more, short percent, it will be less. The another difference is normally in RIRS sheet, it will be straight like this. This will not be there. This will cause suction through the access sheet. For example, if you remove this, if you uh, the the operator it is removed here. It, it, it this is uh, uh, it is there. Sorry, this is operator. It is removed. It is very flexible. And see, this tip is very flexible. Everybody might have seen in the internet. This tip is very flexible. But when you put the scope, it will not be that flexible. For example, if I put this scope, we have to keep this rubber. Why this rubber to prevent the water leak? It is it acts as a, a, a air seal. It's very good idea. This is a simple without cost idea. So now when I am pushing, see what happens in the logistically is when you when the scope is maximum at the tip, it is only few centimeters here. This is a problem with the access sheath uh, uh, 50 centimeters. If it is 45 centimeters, scope will be more outside. But sheath may not reach the inferior calyx. These are the problems. If you are more close here, you cannot bend. So, you cannot withdraw, you cannot push in. If you push in, scope will not be there, here. If you withdraw, uh, scope will not flex here. So, it depends on the body logistics also. That's why you should have 45, 50, 55 centimeter, but scope length cannot be increased because worldwide scope is 50 centimeter length only. That feature they may have this. See, there are various types of bending here. One is scope is completely outside. And it is forcibly flexing. Scope, scope can break. The scope, scope uh, angle is bending. The scope uh, sheath. Scope angle is bending. So it can break. That's why if at all you wanted to do, you should do like this. You should do like this. So that this angle and scope angle correlate. If you put straight uh, and only the angle is bending. See here it is coming resistance. So it will break. Or else, if you if you put like this and bend, it will bend like this. Or else, you have another option, little more behind, somewhere here, and it is same. So, scope should be slightly inside, slightly inside like this, and then bend. This is the correct. So that the all the directions. But usually, what we do is, you do, we will do one thing. We will go inside the uh, inside the uh, inside the sheath like this. And one person will hold here and he will push the sheath. Push, push, he will push. Push, push, push. See, he is pushing like that. Over the bent scope, pushing is more, less uh, traumatic than overall flexing like this. Overall flexing, sheath will go. This is the most important point. As far as the suction is concerned, the scope has nothing to do with suction because direct intrascope suction, it is not possible. The, uh, this, the, 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 the basic mechanism is you attach one pipe here. This much length why? To be away from the 
pennies and away from the uh, patient uh, the patient and this is attached to the here why to collect the to collect the stones in this also there is one method they have given there is one jali can you see the jali here in this powder and uh, uh, powder and uh, pieces can be collected separately now you put the suction here this suction will go to the normal suction operators and up to up to 10 first mark you have to keep it is too much suction is there you have to control the suction there see see is leaking control up to one mark up to one mark up to one mark yes come down come down at that level it is correct but but there is no rules and regulations if you flush the too much water from the uh, uh, the the scope you can suck with more pressure but that is dangerous because the person who is pushing the person who is sucking should be balanced how will you know collapse of the system distension of the system collapse of distension of the system the stone go more away from you collapse of system stone will be completely in the in the front of the flexible scope this is one point another point is in future artificial intelligence will calculate the pressure inside with this temperature inside with this the scope uh, flushing speed and uh, the speed uh, next month only we are getting the uh, temperature guided uh, uh, flexible scope so everything will be balanced by computer if the temperature is more flow will be uh, uh, the uh, laser settings will be decreased automatic everything may not come now but that is ideal here one assistant one urologist myself have to coordinate for the outflow inflow and it should be coming because outflow monitoring is not easy you have to monitor there if you have flushed how much he has flushed we don't know how much it is coming here we don't know so only thing is look if the mucosa is coming nearer to you the flexible scope means your pressure is not high if it is going away 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 and distended it is not good for example you are not sucking you stopped sucking and somebody infused with uh, saline dangerous it will distend kidney may rupture so you should not do that that's why manual pump manual aspiration is better or uh, suction uh, fixed low suction and manual slowly inflating if you put pump it's very very dangerous you should be very very careful even then if this suction doesn't work normally also water can come from here so safety mechanism is there it's a big vent for example you put lot of pressure with lot of pressure it will come out also provided there is space between this sheath and the scope how much french four french difference should be there then water naturally will come if it is snugly fitting here and if you put water too much disaster this is the complete picture about the fan sheet now we in this case plan is we put the we remove the stent we pass the guide wire we pass this access sheet we go inside see the stone accessibility of the flexible scope to the lower calyx movement of the stones impaction of the stone and ability to see the lowermost border of the stone if all of them can be done then you can start doing it if you think that one stone only not seen how can you use three stones there is no point wasting time put the needle and puncture but attendant we have to take the concern or else stop the procedure that is the crux of the uh, rirs in large volume stone